I just saw on Instagram that there's a pop-up. I don't know if it's pop-up. It seems like it's a pop-up. Classic car show. Woo! Downtown in Modesto today. And I think it's at the site of the proposed American Graffiti Museum, um, which is at 9th and Caldwell. There's a little crew working on a, a graffiti museum, classic cars, an old diner, and kind of cool stuff. So I want to go see what it's all about. And uh, nobody was ready to go with me, so just me. So I'll show you what I find. You may or may not know that Modesto is the hometown of George Lucas, who of course is the innovative filmmaker of Star Wars. But before Star Wars, he made another innovative movie called American Graffiti, which featured many a classic car and the car cruising culture of the early, well, late 50s, early 60s. Which, of course, inspired a lot of nostalgia in the 1970s, 80s, about the 50s and the 60s. And so we get things like Happy Days that are directly from the popularity of American graffiti and a revival of cruising culture and in Modesto, they began to have graffiti night every June. The cars would drive up and down, classic cars would drive up and down uh, a main drag here in the city called McHenry Avenue. People would bring out their chairs, line McHenry, and watch the classic cars go by. One of our old favorite songs, way back when. And apparently, Graffiti night just got a little too wild for Modesto because graffiti night was stopped and cruising on McHenry was prohibited. But since then, Modesto has been trying to reclaim some of its American graffiti past statues and murals and car shows here's one of those murals at the uh, sonic drive-in on McHenry. here's another one at the back side of the building you can literally find these uh murals all over modesto seriously we could do a whole video on modesto's murals we should like this one my favorite mural of all time, Monkey. Standing here at George Lucas Plaza, it says, the movie Remembrance of Modesto's Past American Graffiti was created by the filmmaker George Lucas, Modesto native and member of the Thomas Downey High School class of 1962. In George's day, the cruising strip was not McHenry. It was this street, 10th Street, which is, you know, kind of short and narrow and uh, wouldn't make a good spot for a big festival. So they chose McHenry, which is wide and long. Okay, so more than proposed, it looks like it's happening. Look at this. Classic Car Graffiti USA Museum. Yes.
like this one, the Kessel Run and 12 yes, parsecs. Yes, yes. <laughs> doing, doing a little uh, uh, American Graffiti Star Wars map. I had heard that it was just a, kind of a dream, a wish, a hope to turn that building into an American graffiti museum uh, with classic cars and such and thought it was a great idea. I had no idea it was this far down the road into becoming a reality. Talked to one of the gentlemen there and he told me that uh, all the plans have been approved, environmental impact studies been done, the building has been purchased, and uh, now they are raising money, cleaning up the building, starting to plan the exhibits, one of which is going to be an actual diner inside the shop. Of course, a gift shop, uh, a museum with old cars, and an actual working car restoration shop where people will be uh, restoring, fabricating, and uh, bringing back to life these old classic cars and this classic culture that uh, has been highlighted here in Modesto. So look for it soon. The uh, Graffiti Car Museum, I forget the name of it. Mm, maybe I should put it here. Graffiti Car Museum, coming soon. Exciting, in Modesto, California. Woohoo!